Hi, I'm Kelly Kirksey. I'm the Interim Minister of Family Life here at Edmond First Baptist Church, and I'm happy that you chose to be with me today for our Advent story time. Every day in the month of December leading up to Christmas, we will have a special Advent story time where we will read from Ann Voskamp's Unwrapping the Greatest Gift. Today we are on December 10th, and we read from Deuteronomy 5, 28 through 29. The Lord said to me, Oh, that their hearts would be inclined to fear me and keep all my commands always, so that it might go well with them and their children forever. Ten Love Rules God knew you could get the biggest, grandest gift you can imagine, but you would never feel happiness tingling in your toes. Happiness like a blanket wrapping around you warm, unless you had him. So God called his people close, and the people came close to the foot of a mountain, so they could see the heart of God. God took a flat stone and scratched the words of his love right into the rock. Can you imagine a love like that? So deep that it could write its love right into rocks. Ten times God wrote it out, how he would love you, how he wanted you to love him. You may have heard that he wrote ten times. You may have heard God's love called the Ten Commandments. The Ten Commandments are more than God saying, here are my rules of law for you. They're God saying, here is my real love for you. So God wrote his love right into the rock, saying to his people, just like a man might tell his bride at their wedding, here, I take you to be mine, and you will be the one I will love more than anything. So have nothing in your life you love more than me. Here, I give you my name, my very name to make you mine. So please do not say my name without love. Here, I want nothing more than to spend time with you, holy time, just for you and me, so set apart one day every week for you and me to enjoy each other. Here, I love you, special one. So don't want what others have, because I will give you what you need. So don't lie, because my forever love for you means you never have to be afraid of telling the truth. So don't steal from others, because I promise I will always, always give you what you need. So don't murder anyone in anger, because my love for you will always soothe away any anger. Here, I love you with an unconditional, unbeatable, unfailing, unending, unwrappable love. So let's live out our love. All through the commandments, God etches into stone like a whisper, I am the Lord your God, the Lord your God, the Lord your God. You are mine. You are mine. Make me yours. And a bit like at a wedding, the people of God heard God's love and they said, yes. Yes, you are ours and all this we will do. We do, we do, we do. God gives his beautiful people this greatest gift. These two tablets of stone with this forever love that he wrote with his very own finger. God gives the Ten Commandments as more than rules to follow. He gives them as a real love to feel. But God knew that we would fail to keep his love commandments, and we would take things that aren't ours, and we would want things more than God, and we wouldn't keep the commandments and keep close to him. Though we said we do, a lot of days, what we really live is we don't. The heart of God hurt. Oh, that their hearts would be inclined, would lean toward the wonder and awe of me, lean toward keeping all my commandments, 
because they want to keep close to my heart and my unconditional, unbeatable, unfailing, unending, unwrappable love. God gives the love commandments to us, and God gives himself, Jesus, to keep the love commandments for us. Loving Jesus and loving everyone are the biggest, grandest, greatest gifts you can give back to God. Did you know that in many places in the world, when anyone recites the Ten Commandments, every listener dances with joy? Love like this could make us wonder. Somewhere right now, Christmas carols are playing. Even right now, a love like Jesus coming could make you dance. I hope today that this has given you a chance to see the Ten Commandments in a new light, for you to see God's love in a new light. And I hope as you look around today that you see the love of God that makes you want to dance. Thank you for joining me for day 10 of our Advent Storytime. I hope to see you tomorrow for day 11.